Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we are going to see how we can able to create buffer in ArcGIS Pro using point, line and polygon shape file. So suppose you are having some point and along with that you want to mark any buffer like you want to see within a 10 kilometer what things are coming. So you can able to mark a buffer. So you can also take a road or railway line and you want to mark a buffer along 150 meter on both the sides. So you can able to mark a buffer. So how to mark the buffer that we are going to see today. So suppose this point I am having and I want to mark a buffer along this. So what we can able to do, we just need to go to geoprocessing tool. Okay. So whatever thing you will digitize like a point, line or polygon along with that we can able to mark a buffer. So in the geoprocessing tool, in the toolbox, there is an analysis tool. In the analysis, there is a proximity. In the proximity, there is a buffer. Suppose you want to create a single buffer, then you can able to use this buffer tool. But if you want to create a multiple buffer, like one kilometer, two kilometer, three kilometer, each kilometer, if you want to mark a buffer, then you can go with the multi-ring buffer. We'll see both the buffer. So let, I will take a buffer tool once. Okay. So here, along what I want to mark a buffer for point, line or polygon, like a road or forest. So this is point feature I will take first. Then output location means where you want to save. You can choose a browser, browse option and you can save your file along the location, but I will go by default. And here is the unit. So I'm interested to create a buffer along, let's I will take a two kilometer, okay? And here you can able to select a unit like a meter, kilometer, so two kilometer buffer I want to mark. Okay. So let I will take one kilometer, one kilometer buffer I'm interested to mark. So here all the things will keep as it is and I'll just click on the run option. So see along the one kilometer we have mark a buffer. But if you want to mark like one kilometer, two kilometer, three kilometer buffer, then we can go with the multi-ring buffer option is there. In the multi-ring buffer, like I will select a point here, okay, and output location I will keep by default, and here distance we need to add, okay. So like I will add here as a one kilometer, then add another two kilometer, add another three kilometer. Like this we can add. Then we need to select a unit, okay, like kilometer. If you want to select kilometer. You want to select meter then you can able to select meter and then other option is as it is and i will just click on the run so now it will mark a buffer for one kilometer two kilometer and three kilometer so see if i'll uncheck this you can able to see and if you'll right click open attribute table you will see the information we have mark a distance here okay so let we'll try with the line okay so this is the road along the road i'm interested to mark a buffer so let i will select a road and let i will select here one kilometer buffer and i want to add as a round buffer or flat so suppose you want round you can select a round and i will select a full and just click on the run So see, we have mark a buffer that is a one kilometer buffer along each line. So now we can able to see this road, whatever the road is there. From this road, one kilometer distance we have selected and you can able to see all the things which are coming within the one kilometer from the road. And you can able to see the attribute table as well here. Okay, so thousand meter buffer along all we have marked. Suppose you want to mark along the polygon. Okay, some area is there along with that you want to mark a buffer. So then you can able to go with the same buffer tool and you can take as a this forest area. This is my polygon shape file as a forest and I select same way I will add here as a 500 meter distance. Okay, I'll select a meters and just click on the run. So see 500 meter buffer we have marked and you want to mark a multiple buffer. Then you can go with the this multiple buffer ring option is there and here we can able to select as a forest 
and I want to add a 500 meter, 1000 meter, and you can able to add like this, then 1500 meter. Then you can select a unit here as a meter and just click on the run. So see, we have mark a buffer here. If I uncheck it, you can able to see. So it is very easy to mark a buffer and you can able to see the distance as well here. Okay. Now suppose you want to show this in different colors. So you can just right click and symbology. So we can able to take a unique values. So we can mark color based on our distance. Okay. So same way we can able to do with the road buffer as well. So anything with that, if you want to change, you can just go to symbology and we can able to change a color like this. Okay. So if you are having any doubts, you can just ask me in the comment sections. Thank you.